Um, the nice thing about kiteboarding is that it's a sport for any person in the world, really. I mean, you can be handicapped, you can be old, you can be a little kid, you can be elderly lady. As long as you put enough time and practice into flying the kite and controlling it, it's 90% kite skill and then it's 10% uh, board skill. So, I mean, obviously the more board skill you have helps. You can be the best wakeboarder in the world and not know a single thing about flying a kite, and you're not going to go anywhere. So, um, my favorite kiteboarder in the world is a German man named Helmut. He's in his 90s now, and he can jump 20 feet in the air, do double back rolls, all those crazy things, and he just put a lot of time into flying a kite, and he's gotten there. So, um, I'd say jumping is for everyone, no matter what your skill level. And, um, so I'll teach you how to do that today. Step number one is making sure that your bar is sheeted out. Um, a lot of times you think you pull in on the bar to send it, but what that does is generate so much power that it pulls you forward rather than up. So step number one, sheet out on the bar. Step number two, send the kite to 12 o'clock. You're gonna have your bar all the way out and then you crank the bar really hard, sheet it out until it goes up to 12 o'clock. And then right as the kite arcs and goes above your head, pull in on the bar. So step number one, sheet out. Step number two, send the kite, pull in on the bar. So your kite's gonna be going above your head and right as it goes up, that's when you pull in on the bar which powers the kite up and lifts you off the water. Step number three is pop. So you really want to pop, like right as you pull in on the bar is right as you're gonna pop. So you're sending your kite, you pull in, and then right as you pull in, you kind of edge against the kite. And what that does is right as you pull in and edge against it, it creates tension sends you up higher so the more speed you have the higher you're gonna get so board speed like the faster you can go the higher you're gonna get because that gives you that much more speed and pop into your jump so when you're learning I mean obviously you want to start going slow just do little hops just kind of hopping around and then you build up speed as you get comfortable coming down and landing riding away every time so you always want to start small do a little jump come down and land but um Number three is just more speed, the more height. You wanna push down on your back foot and pull up on your front foot. You're sending your kite, you have it sheeted out, send it up, it's above 12 o'clock. You pull in and then you bring that front knee to your chest to the pop, and that'll launch you in the air. So if you wanna jump higher, you gotta pop harder, use your board pushing against the water and launching you in the air. It's all about the speed of the kite as well. So the faster the kite moves up in the wind though, the higher it's gonna pick you up. Every kite is different, so you could be flying a Cabrina Switchblade, or you could be flying any any different kite. So I fly the FX. So something to keep in mind for this is that every kite is different, so you kind of have to adjust depending on what kite you're flying. But uh, most kites, I mean, everything's the same. You just need to adjust the speed of them and how it works. So the fourth step in this process of jumping is landing, and what you do is you come down because it's a lot easier to get up in the air, but then as you come down, that's the hardest part. So, you can send the kite, get in the air. As you're coming down, you need to figure out a few things on timing. So, step number four is sheet out and have the kite fall with you. If you're going to the right, you want the kite falling to the right with you just a little bit, like at one or two o'clock. So that once you touch down the water, you can swoop it and it catches you. If it's above your head, it's kind of hard to move. So, what you want to do is, as you reach the peak of your jump, going to sheet out on the bar and then have the kite slowly fall down with you so as you're coming down from your jump your kite is falling with you but you have it sheeted out so it's not pulling you so you go down and the kite's falling with you and as soon as you land that's when you pull in on the bar and your kite's ready to go step number five sometimes you send the kite so hard that it goes over past 12 o'clock so you're up in the air and it's pulling you the other way so what you want to do for that is you want to keep your hands on the bar and you want to keep your front hand on the bar your back hand you don't want to do so much with it because it's natural so whichever way you're going you pull on the back hand which will send you up and that sends the kite too far over so just make a conscious effort of keeping your front hand on the bar and always kind of pulling down on your front hand which will keep the kite going the way that you want to and if you're struggling with keeping your kite and being able to control it with your hand, then move your hands a little farther out on the bar so you can have more control over it. So whenever you land a jump, you don't want to be on an edge because then you can either go over or fall back. You want to land flat, your shoulders above your knees like this, point your board downwind, pull in on the bar, and ride away. So 
you always want to ride straight towards your kite after the trip because that gives you time to land, compress, use your body as a shock. So you're coming down and then your kite's falling with you. As you land, point your board straight downwind, get it completely flat as you hit the water. Kind of use your knees and your chest together as a shock so you can use your body as a shock over the board. Pull in, ride away, and then slowly start to go back up with. So that's how you jump in five steps. I hope it helped. If you have any more questions or any difficulties that I haven't covered, just let me know and I'll write back to you or make a video blog about it. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, this is Blake Wilson here with Matt Kiteboarding, my brother Micah in QS for the week. Just got our three video blogs out of the way. Now we're gonna go have some fun. So have a good week. Hope to see you next week. Thanks a lot.